idea. My name is Rex Power Cole. Hey guys, this is TechGuy276, and this is my Trials of the Blood Dragon review. We all know the Trials franchise, it started off with Trials, then Trials Fusion, and then Trials Evolution, and then the next stage was Trials of the Blood Dragon. It's called Blood Dragon because it's based off the Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon DLC that came out where you play as Rex Power Cult in sort of in a dystopian universe in the future basically a game that's based in of the future but based from the perspective of the 1980s where everything's neon lights everything's over the top uh, and this and that same gameplay and same visual type from Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon has now transitioned over to the Trials franchise um, it's a welcome change uh, the Trials franchise was getting a bit stale um, Trials Evolution it was actually a pretty good game. Um, you could make your own tracks. You had you, you you could change where the tracks were coming from, and you could have all these kind of visuals happening in the background, which was was great. But in Trials of the, of the Blood Dragon, it was more of a welcome change to just the visuals, and there is another gameplay mechanic that is brought into the game as well. There's there's obviously the trials bit, which you use the motorcycle, you steer left and right, you try and get to the end of, trying to get to the end of the track. Um, but then, then there's like a hotline Miami-style gameplay where you actually get off the bike and you start shooting, uh, or you start using a grappling hook. Um, the gameplay is mainly um, you and the daughter. You and the daughter. So basically, you're Rex Power Cult's son and daughter, and Rex Power Cult has gone dis uh, has disappeared, and you decide to try to get your father back or try to rescue him from somewhere. Um, the shooting the shooting mechanic is basically it's basically a Hotline Miami slash platformer slash explosion man. Um, it's great, but it's a bit clunky at times. Like it it, it recognizes that it's it's a shooting game but it doesn't really if it was an entire game based on the shooting mechanic it wouldn't be very good uh, my favorite bit is obviously the trials bit and I was always trying to get to do the shooting mechanic as much as fast as possible so I could get back to act the actual motorcycle gameplay um, it doesn't feel good uh, it's okay for five minutes but you just want to get back to this to the trials bit. Um, great gameplay, uh, same left and right, same trying to balance your car. Um, there was a bit of more story this time. Instead of just going through track one, track two, track three, track four, you actually there was posters on the wall, and you actually clicked on one of them, and it and it was a different part of the story. So there, there was about six or seven different uh, posters on the wall. And you click on one, and it would get you give you a different part of the story with a different part of um, different part of gameplay. Um, everything about the game is basically it's neon lights. It's great about it. Um, all I do welcome this gameplay change. I do, I do, I do like it, um, and I do welcome the visual change as well. And I wish Ubisoft would turn that into something else as well. I wish that they would go towards other franchises as well. They did Far Cry 3, which it got a great reception from. A great story, even though it was only four hours long, it was a great gameplay and it was great visuals. Um, and I'd still say the same for Trials of the Blood Dragon. There was, uh, and, I, and I wish Ubisoft would turn that into uh, Assassin's Creed, um, maybe uh, Rain, Rain Man, uh, which is a bit pushing it a little bit. Um, maybe Watch Dogs, uh, but they'd have to establish the franchise of Watch Dogs before turning it into something else. What, what Ubisoft could do, because this visual style is becoming very popular, they could actually make their own Tron game. It reminds you a lot of Tron. Um, neon lights, going through, 
um, everything's lit up by streaks of light and everything's uh, it's just they should turn it into something else I'd only give I'd only give this game a 7 out of 10 because it doesn't actually try to improve on anything at all it doesn't try to um, change anything in a good way shooting as I said the trials a uh, little bit was good the motorcycle bit was good the shooting is a bit nah but it tries to mix it up and it tries to do it quite well. Um, when you're on the when you're on the actual bike itself, it starts to bring in a grappling hook and a shooting mechanic where you have to shoot certain things to unlock gates. So you try to, as you're on the, as you're on the bike, you have to shoot people whilst you're on the bike, and it's it brings in this new. Um, you're trying to balance your car and you're trying to do flips and shit, but then you're trying to shoot the enemies or you're trying to unlock the gate at the same time and it's a welcome change um, I just wish that there was the shooter mechanic was more fleshed out and on that note guys I'll give this game a 7 out of 10 and thanks for listening to me Drowls of the Blood Dragon review and I'll see you next time bye